Travis Brown, Horror Movies Uncut, Submissions and Slashers, Fantastic Fest 2024, 19th edition, and not so often do you find sequels down here, but we have one, and it's called Heavier Trip, and it's following this Finland, so would it be, would, so would they be considered a Finnish death metal band? What would they, well, so, okay. <laughs> Explain, give, let's go with the name of the band and then give me what you would describe their music to be. We'll go down the line. Well, well I mean, it is, well, I mean, the genre, symphonic. Mon- monster, oh, right. monster it's genre, right. 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 thing like, a, is, is, is its own monster, but I think the music they play is closest to death metal. Death metal, yeah. right. Death metal. You guys would all agree? Yeah. Okay. So, so you're the. Do you actually have a music background? Well, I pl- I've played all my life, but I don't have a band background. I, okay. I've been playing instruments background mm-hmm. and listening to like music is my life, but but I don't have a band. And in the film, are you playing your instrument? Like, is that you playing? Or like, are you? I am playing, but but the, the sound you hear the sound you hear is in me, like Mika Mika who made like the like that actual band music mm-hmm. made me a beautiful guitar piece to put on top of my the crap I was playing during shoot, during the shoot. But yeah, okay. So the fascinating thing about Heavier Trip is the follow up here shows you guys all like locked up, you know and. Whenever you're thinking about like a lost family member and what that can do to people on the inside, and like it's it's so hard to imagine like being told that something might happen to a loved one, and then there's nothing you can do about it because of the situation. You know, uh, the thing that I love about the film is it instantly just kind of reunites the banding together, the bond of the the, the band members. So the first question that I'm going to ask is, when you guys are initially coming into this second project, what are the things that you want to make sure carrying over from the previous film that you can embellish on, but kind of show this new avenue and this new journey that the band is on right now? I would say the sincerity of the characters, okay. of, of the guys, uh, and, and, you know, the, and that something is happening for us as well, making the film, that it means something to us, I would say, that's sort of connected to the sincerity of the characters, that's, that is also meaningful for us to, to tell the story and take it further with the characters. Yeah, a big heart and kindness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, clearly the characters in the film from the first film were still here, and mm-hmm. like, we wanted to do that film where feel you f- you get this warm and nice feeling hanging out with these guys yeah the band. yeah and so i think that was the first thing we had in mind that, you know, of course it's a new film it has to be different but there's a the same elements to be a sequel so i guess it's like having these characters and putting them in a new situation mm-hmm. facing new problems mm-hmm. not the same ones not the first same. problems yes yes and, and problems are something that bands deal with so often i mean look at the Biggest news over the summer was the reunion of the boys in England, right? Like Simon and the, you know, the, the, yeah. boy, the Gallagher boys are back, right? So everybody's like super excited about that. But you forget they broke up and you forget that they had issues like from the start. So whenever you think about like what keeps bands together, what are some of the things that you feel is important that has to remain? I know from being in a band, it's usually the poop, the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom yeah, make or break yeah, a band, right? Yeah, yeah. But what do you for you guys? What is it? Some of the things that the characters are showing in the film that you also believe yourself is important to showcase in Heavier Trip on why it's important that the band has to stay together through these adversities. I would say that the band and the members of the band that they can keep growing. Mm-hmm. That the relationship is uh, you know something that you can grow in and together and also. So they, they face, we said, new problems, and also they have to develop their relationships to a new level because of the challenges that they face. So I would say that's probably, you know, that's a better reason than money. Yeah. <laughs> to stay, stay, stay together. There's a lot of family, camaraderie, all those things are just elements that just flow throughout the course of the movie, but there's this 
amazing look at the industry in this film. What, where did that storyline come from, and why was it important that this become part of the tale with what's going on with the band and Heavier Trip? Yeah, for me, it's like I said, like it wasn't, it couldn't be the same story as the first one. The first one is like these guys kind of going over there, got fears, right. getting into the stage. Right. I mean, they never left like. Yeah. You know, practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> From the days, <laughs> right? <laughs> so yeah, the band has been practicing for twelve years. Mm -hmm. First film, and now they go on a gig. But of course, that couldn't be the story of the second film. Right. So I think it, it comes from there. Mm -hmm. What's the What's the next step? Yeah. What's the I, I felt it's pretty kind of natural step that they go into a bigger kind of circles. But what comes with that mm -hmm. is, of course, like there's more money involved and that always brings these changes questions. relationships yeah that. changes relationships uh you know money for some might be the root of all evil but i think when it's money spread out like even something like in the hip-hop world like with a group like a wu-tang clan you know right. and you think about how much had to be spread out and then you can see how relationships can start to collide right, right. Mm -hmm. but i think when you are dealing with like a metal band where it's just like the four of you or something like that and you've been together for so long, your bonds are actually a lot tighter, yes. you know, which means the money aspect can hurt even more, especially if another portion of the family is getting involved, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you guys feel is one of the main things you can highlight to tell young bands about how to stay relevant and, and, and focus on, you know, yourself, other than just telling, you know, everyone to fuck off or <laughs> fuck you or anything, you know, what's, what's, what's something you think that like if a, if a young metal group was watching both of these films, especially mm -hmm. the new one, Heavier Trip, what's a message you think they would get from that? I have to say, yeah, it's, it's just yeah, like stay, 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 true, yeah, stay true to yourself, mm -hmm. yeah. what, what you, what you feel like, what your intuition and you know, that it's, it's, it's your thing and then that you enjoy yourself. And then you can share it. And if you have this feeling of like, is this like, you know, this is like, you, I think there's a limit of like, when you're like dancing on this, uh, uh, like, okay, is this uh, taking a risk? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, this feels like, I love it, what it's like, uh, can I say this? Can I do this? Mm -hmm. And then, then there's something. It's that imposter syndrome that shows up, right? Well, what, I, what I mean is like, uh, like, uh, like, you're, you're like a little bit, uh, not ashamed, but somehow like there's a danger to it, mm -hmm. you know, like the humor like, okay, this is, I feel like I want to say this or play this, but I'm not doing it because I'm sure that they like it, but because I like it. And then you're taking this risk, mm -hmm. sort of like revealing something that you feel. Uh, yeah, then you're probably yourself. on like the right track. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I think the like, whether it's like music audience or film audience, I think they connect to like, the artists, yeah, like, personal struggles and, and like the art doesn't have to be perfect. Like right. the the brain edges and like the mistakes you made are like they they help people connect with what you are because yeah. you're not you're not perfect. Like your art doesn't have to be perfect. So like, don't don't be afraid to like make mistakes. Yeah. And how how does it make you feel? You know, the process, I guess that's it's also the key. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so glad you guys were able to bring up all those topics. When you're looking at the music and it's and you're and you're piecing together like what needs to be in this film to keep people engaged with the characters, like I can't wait for so many people just to see that opening scene because it just sets just the tone for the film right off the bat. Um, what's like who's who's the person that's arranging all that and putting that together to say like this is the, the music of the film because I even posted on Twitter while I was watching the film mm -hmm. that I need anyone at this festival name me a better soundtrack than what's mm -hmm. in this film mm -hmm. especially when we get to see the introduction of the other groups mm -hmm. too as well you yeah. know which is yeah. huge well yeah usually it's because yeah, I'll totally take credit for this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 so so what 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 are you, what are you doing are you like thinking of like yourself as a kid at that mm -hmm. moment like, what would I want to listen to on this soundtrack? Or, or are you looking at this as like, 
you know, your own little painting that you can add. Because you said you, you, you didn't play with any bands, but this is like your moment to shine and say, hey, no, I'm like, I am the entire band on this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, what, what type of mind frame are you in when you're sitting down and you're thinking like, how do I want this to be laid out? Well, well I guess it's like two parts. It's, yeah. the, it's, like, it's like the the music you hear the bands play and then there's the score music. And of course, like the music you hear the bands play, they have to come from, come from like the band's universes. And, and that's, that's the way, I, how I approached it. Like not, not maybe like, a, like I, I wrote the lyrics, lyrics for the songs and, and, and that's not something that, like, like the message isn't something that I want to say, but you have to approach it like, like what, what would what, the band want to say? Yeah, the character, yes, I got you. Kinda, mm-hmm. and I felt a little like cringy making, making, <laughs> making all the, all, all, all the lyrics there, Part did of any of them like get, really, really disgusting? Wait, so and did, naive, but I also did like, any of them get stuck in your head? Like, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I really have to listen to the song like a million times. You know, like, quite the lyrics, I felt really dirty. But like, like the, I felt like the Impaled Rectum song has really like these naive, like small, small town metal band lyrics almost. But it's mm-hmm. it's, it's a small, small town metal band in Impaled Rectum. Practice in the basement for twelve years. Yeah, so, yeah, and 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 the other band music was this like dirty. Dirty, dark, slow, sexy, mm-hmm. <laughs> sexy things and that sort of stuff. But, but um, <clears throat> what else? I mean, for the score, yeah. I, like I had the score band in mind for a really long time. So, so before we started making this film, I had like a lot of, a lot of like these scenes or images. Like I want this song to be on top of something like this. And yeah. So, so a lot of it was like really straightforward, just executing. Executing and um, mm, what else? It's it's like um, tr- trying stuff. Some something works, something doesn't, and, and, and just like working, working with the band slowly, slowly like filling filling the gaps. Mm-hmm. Like there needs to be something here. What are we gonna come up with this yeah. part? Of? And then the band, the band that made the score, they hadn't made a film score before, and I had never like directed a film score. So it was like the first time for both of us. Really, like a high risk, high reward. Yeah. I'm not sure how it turned out. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you liked it, so, mm-hmm. so you guys figured it out, you know. And that's all that counts. But I think you have to be a fan of the music to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things that, for me, I could go back and watch parts of this movie and just let the music play, and that's just like the soundtrack in my house while I'm working for the day, you know? So that's kind of cool because that's an element that sometimes you don't find in films. But if it's a film involving a band, I feel like that's something you almost need to be nailing right on the head. With, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the band. Like, yeah. you want to be able to be a part of it while you're watching the film. And that's something that I think you guys achieve. And here's the sad part. Like, we, we've talked, we've said this word a lot of times, so I think it's a theme in the film, which is the word risk, right? But there's this element of being chased, there's this element of captured, there's this element that we know right off the bat from the trailer of imprisonment, right? And, and what that does to a creative outlet and how that might stifle the progression of something that they're trying to do. So like for someone to think of a band that's never left the basement and then all of a sudden they pop and then now they're in prison, you know, like that's, that's a very, very fast microchasm of things that can like events that can happen. Right. Mm -hmm. So what would make the band want to continue on when this is what's being laid out in front of them? Is it still that bond that they shared? Is it just some weird, mutation that happened in those 12 years in the basement where, you know, like, because those are the types of things that could instantly break, you know, the character, the spirit, you know, um, what do you guys think? Like the prison focus of the movie, how does that relate to the creative process of the band in regards to like really pushing them to want to get out for more than one reason, of course. Well, from a, like a story perspective, it was like they are being held captive and they cannot perform what they want to perform yeah. in prison. But of course, they find find ways of doing that. So they're kind of like also kind of uh, uh, 
created through the mm -hmm. captured. Mm -hmm. well. Yeah, yes. As well, but of course it's very important that we see like how we tell that these guys are like very bonded together is that we show them playing their music. Mm -hmm. And that's and they and the joy they get from that. So we had to kind of like, okay, we have to kind of tell that these guys are sharing something important to them in like one scene. Mm -hmm. And that was just okay, like, they're gonna play together and they're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy it and that, that will hopefully tell the audience that these guys have this bond. Yeah. Right. And which of course the film is kind of about how the bond will kind of remain mm -hmm. in all the situations For that sure. they get into. So I think that was kind of one thing. I don't know if we had a, like a huge idea of doing a statement of any kind from imprisonment or anything like that. Yeah. It was also kind of natural mm -hmm. what happened after the first film. Right, 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 right. for sure. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. you. So they're, they're physically attained, but spiritually they're like yeah. out there. Yeah. Because they had the experience of what happened in the first film. Mm -hmm. They got the taste, okay, mm -hmm. they sort of like found, you know, they spread their wings and okay, this is us, this is you know, what we do. So I think for them, it's been continuing since, even though they've been captive. But now they're still like, they want to be out there. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like they're incubating, migrating. You know, they're you know they're marinating in there. <laughs> you know. Yeah, 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 Just, yeah, yeah. 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 That's a, yeah. What about you? What do you think? I don't know if I've had anything to add. Okay, well, here's a better question to wrap it up. Then, tell me something you hope people take away from Heavier Trip after they see the film. And we'll go down the line and wrap it up with that. And I really appreciate everyone's time today. This has been great. Thanks for having us. Well, I hope they really like <laughs> enjoy the music in this film. Like I think it's 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 like a huge part of why I like started started with both of the films. Mm -hmm. It's my my like driving force for a lot of art. So. so. Mm -hmm. So I hope they like the music. That's what I. That's why I hope the audience gets at least. Awesome. Yeah. I also hope they they this good feeling of uh, of sharing something. You know, finding meaning in that. Yeah. I hope that it's, uh, of course that the audience are entertained and uh, hopefully they'll get something kind of to take back from the theater. And this guy kind of makes you warm and fussy. <laughs> also, like, feels like these days it's pretty dark. Yeah. Dark out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And through the darkness, though, you can still fucking headbang. So mm -hmm. that always matters, right? Appreciate your time, everyone. Thank you. Thank yes, you yes. Heavier trip, everybody. Make sure you see it if you're at Fantastic Fest. And then, of course, looking forward. You guys are already with Doppler, Doppler Game, right? Yeah, Doppler Doppler already, Gamer, yeah, yeah. yeah, already coming out with some distribution on that news. So look for it. Look for our interview. Yeah. Horror Movies Uncut. You know where to find us. November 29th. 29th of November, right? Cinema. After Turkey Day.